first governor of what would become Portsmouth, New Hampshire, which is where we are, was a soldier of fortune, came from Wales. Captain Walter Neal, in 1630, he arrived in Portsmouth Harbor aboard the ship Warwick. Stayed here only four years. During that time, a rivalry arose between this settlement and the settlement in Dover. And that settlement was governed by a man named Thomas Wigan. And just an aside here, you might find interesting, or maybe not, there's still a guy named Thomas Wigan living in New Hampshire, and he is the direct male descendant of the original Thomas Wigan. Body God lives in Peterborough. Second interesting part of this is that this Thomas Wigan is married to my ex-wife. And they're both interesting and nice people. Anyhow, back in Plymouth, England, where the money for both settlements came from, these two entities, these two places, were called the Upper Plantation and the Lower Plantation. Tom Wiggins' Upper Plantation, through trade with the Native Americans, was making some money. But Captain Neal's Lower Plantation was hemorrhaging cash, so much so that the backers in Plymouth, England, ended up selling all their shares to just two guys, Captain John Mason and Sir Ferdinando Gorges. Oh, and by the way, this rivalry between the upper and lower plantation boiled over when there was a dispute as to who owned the land in Newington, right across from Hilton Point. Thomas Wiggins said it was his, Captain Neal said it was his. The two men actually challenged each other to a duel over the dispute. But it was all bluster and no action, all hat and no cows, as it were. In the end, both backed down, and the duel was never fought. But to this day, that piece of land is still called, you got it, Bloody Point. By the way, in the end, the lower plantation did win the dispute. It's 